The last 25 years, according to the basic law, Israel is defined as a Jewish and democratic state. Jewish before democratic, it's not accidental. Jeremy is superior to Ahmed. Well, first of all, I'm going to have to disagree with Ahmed Tibi. I think that it is very possible to have both a Jewish and a democratic state. That's exactly what the prime minister is trying to do here. He's trying to go ahead and define what is Jewish, what is democratic. We've been a country since 1948. And as I said in the beginning of the program, the time has come for us to really define that. Actually, if you read the bill, you see that the status of minorities such as Arabs will actually go up as a result of this bill. We're still living off the British mandate that says that English, Hebrew, and Arabic have equal footing, but we never, as an Israeli parliament, said what our feeling is in terms of languages. That means that today there are government services, government ministries that are not provided in Arabic. This bill will actually make Ahmed Tibi's life better by going ahead and providing those services in Arabic. I suggest that MKTB actually reads the, vi the version of the bill that's on the table.